Don Alexander here with Gene Coda Executive Search. We connect outstanding firms in the life sciences sector with executives who help bring game-changing products and services to the market. In this series, we'll speak about how to select a search firm, and today we're going to be covering questions around search firm fees, guarantees, and expenses. Please feel free to review our series on YouTube around the differences between retained and contingency firms, as we'll be discussing retained search today, which includes the recruitment of passive candidates. The use of search firms can be an expensive proposition and a new hire's cost. If your company has many positions of the same type, it often makes sense to hire an internal or contract recruiter to reduce the cost per hire. However, when the position is specialized, is confidential, or when market demand exceeds supply for a given skill set, the use of a search firm may be warranted. In these examples, passive candidates or those that are not actively seeking work must be contacted and placing ads in the short list of internal referrals often won't cut it. So the question becomes, who is going to do the research and outreach? It could be an internal or external resource or combination, but this decision must be made for a successful outcome in high demand roles. Search firm fees often vary from about 10% to a third of the placed candidate's first year compensation, and some companies offer flat fees, hourly rates, and other models. Given the significance of the investment made, you might consider asking questions like, are the search firm's fees fair for the service it commits to provide in the roles in question? Does the search firm offer a clear fee arrangement in writing? How long does a search firm typically work on a search, and what if they are unable to locate an acceptable candidate? Which expenses will be billed separately, and when are payments due? While a search firm's rate should be competitive, be wary of selecting a search firm based solely on the quoted rate alone, and consider the other factors mentioned in this series. By spending too much, you lose a little money, but that's all. And it's an economic truth that it's seldom possible to get the most by spending the least. If the role you're recruiting for is an important position, it's better to invest a little more than to risk not solving the issue you need solved with the hire you'll be making. And a stellar candidate's work productivity will far outperform the investment made in the new hire. In considering the business with the least expensive search firm, it might be wise to add a little to your investment to cover the risk that you'll be taking. Finally, what happens if a new hire quits shortly after being hired? Most search firms offer a replacement guarantee if a new hire quits within a specified period of time following their employment. If you'd like some help with this and to understand how to overcome some of these issues, please contact us at www.genecoda.com.